this week on Airy Extreme. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, everything's either froze or closed. As far as this show goes, um, you can throw the word typical right out the window. Who's your daddy? Oh my gosh, it's a giant dude. Don't miss it. Don't miss them. Reach way out. Yeah, it's a big one right there, boy. Eerie Extreme is made possible with the help of these fine local businesses. Fast Signs. Marquette Savings Bank. Sunburst Electronics. Country Fair. Sitco. We Create. Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Zodiac Diner. Presque Isle Angler Bait and Tackle. The Avonia Tavern. And World of Music. I'm Dave LaFevre, and I'm getting out of my comfort zone. Exploring extreme places and culture, discovering extreme people, while encountering extreme weather. Where do I plan to do all this? Well, in my own backyard, of course. This is not your typical fishing show. It's unscripted, outside the box, and 100% real. This is Eerie Extreme. I'm getting too old for this. I've been on a bunch of TV shows over the last 15 years or so, but honestly, I've never hosted my own show. So there was a little bit of nerves and, and excitement. I pretty much forgot everything. I was out the driveway and back and forth three or four times. And then when I was trying to hook up the boat, I almost put the boat trailer right through the back of my new van. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, nerves, maybe, a little bit but excitement overload. Come on, man. One of my stupid taillights is out. Probably get a dumb ticket. You know, the good thing about the Great Lakes region is if you don't like the weather, just wait a couple minutes and it'll change. Dang. Hey, dude. Yeah, everything's either froze or closed. I think we're going to have to cancel. Well, it's not looking good, I can tell you that. Oh, it's bad. There's a boat ramp down here somewhere, isn't there? Thank you. I eventually found a place that I could at least get my boat in the water. I think we're gonna give it a try. We got the Quigley, right? Never done this before. <laughs> It was a scary deal, something I'd never done before, and uh, it just barely worked out. Well, it didn't really work out too well for my trailer. Not good.
So check it out. I get out there, I fish and fish, and there's a big front coming, and you know, I risk my life and my equipment. I tried everything. I mean, I was in search mode. I tried everything I could, different techniques, trying to catch different kinds of fish. I didn't even know what we would end up fishing for when we actually brought the cameras out. and all that stuff. As it turned out, I caught one smallmouth bass, and it was about a four pounder. And I called those guys, and I did exactly what all fishermen do. And I said, boys, I'm on them. You know, and I convinced them to drag all their stuff out here and come on out, we're gonna catch them like crazy. <laughs> Even though I was scared to death. I mean, I didn't. I, I got that one bite, and that was it. So, uh, thank God it worked out. <laughs> They're just finding out right now that I lied to them. <laughs> earlier and it definitely don't work as now. <laughs> Welcome to the Avonia Tavern. Awesome rib. As a small business owner, I have a lot on my plate. That's why I work with Fast Signs for all my marketing needs. The crew at Fast Signs takes extra measures to make sure my signs are a perfect fit. Every project is custom tailored for my business. I never dreamed that there were this many ways that Fast Signs can help my business. They really are more than fast, more than signs. You know, we're sitting here at uh, Prescott Bait and Tackle drinking some coffee. We don't count them. We scoop them out for a family-owned business. Oh yeah, we sell fishing license. Minnows, maggots, waxworms, mealworms, leeches, night crawlers. Just everything you'd need for pan fishing and walleye fishing. My name is Laura Daniels from Presque Angler Bait and Tackle, and you are watching Erie Extreme. So the morning of the shoot, you know, guys are on their way and I was getting real nervous about where we were going to put the boat in. You know, I got stuck and broke my trailer light off trying to get out off of that ice dune <laughs> that I thought was gravel. So, it, you know, I knew we couldn't do that again and I knew that the weather was warm and I knew we had a bunch of bad weather coming. So this was our last chance. Thank goodness uh, some of the ice broke up and we were able to launch the boat at a real boat ramp on the second day. Cool, let's get out. I mean, yeah. they're, if they're going to bite, they're going to bite early. You actually wrap down there, though? Yeah, we'll have to break a little bit of ice. Okay, because yesterday it was silent. <laughs> I'm going to crack it on the other side. I'll crash into the rocks. Can I get it on the rocks? Get it on the rocks? I'm a professional. <laughs> Is 
that doesn't sound right. Can we break through that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall in, you die. What? Is that true? Catching them? No. Should have seen like off the where they couldn't cast, like right out in here. There was brown trout just all there. browns out there. Huh? These are all browns yeah. out there. It's gonna be a little bumpy out there, you know? <laughs> There was a mega front coming and some big time wind. And I didn't want to let those guys know it, but I was a little concerned being out there in that little tiny 14 foot boat in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. This tiny boat There's a reason the Niagara is so big, Dave. You know, I'm not just talking about fishing when I say this, but anytime you're excited about something, it never goes quite the way you planned it. Dude, we should catch one right there. And that's we didn't really what happened today. I was know. having visions all night of going to that spot where I caught that one fish and, and just catching the fire out of them and we got there and it was tough i mean it was just the, my worst nightmare i'm like what are these guys gonna think i caught the one though when you see that we're at that one waypoint we're heading right at right now I, that's where i caught the one it's on top of the it's on top of a little hump i mean it was in 20 feet there was bait stacked all over so chris has never fished before never been in a boat before so Obviously, he's never filmed fishing before. And uh, the very first bite we got, I had one of the camera guys drop a bait down there. We were trying to figure out what they wanted to bite. And wouldn't you know it, he got the first bite. Holy crap, that one kicked it. There we go. And he gets that thing up, and I got the net. And it is a legitimate six and a half pound mule. I mean, this is a trophy sized fish that most people won't catch in their lifetime. It, no, it's, it's small. That's small. He gets that thing up there, and it turns out to be the biggest fish we'd have on all day. And I reached out. Oh, yeah, the giant. Oh! I didn't know he could do that. And the fish jumped and came off right at the edge of the net. And it's like, I mean, in a tournament, that would make me cry like a little girl. But on TV, it also made me sick. And what even made me more sick is our reaction when we lost the fish. And Chris just shut the cameras off. I'm like, Are you, did you get all that? And he's like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but I'm going to give them some uh, behind the scenes stuff, okay? What, what, the, what you missed is our reaction, and we just went nuts. Because me and the other camera guy fish a lot. I, I touched it. He knows what a giant smallmouth is. That's a once in a lifetime fish to a lot of people, and it was a big one. And we were just like, as soon as the camera gets shut off, that's when all the drama happened, and we missed it all. So, but basically, I can recreate that. It was like. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we just missed that. I can't believe it. Oh my, I just can't believe it. I can't believe it. Dude, what happened? I don't know, that was a six pounder. Dude, it was every bit of six pounds. I think it was like more like seven or eight. <sighs> <laughs> You're an idiot. You know, it took us quite a while before we got a bite. But once we got a bite and we threw a little marker buoy out there, it was lights out. That's a big one right there, boy. <laughs> you know, if you're in the boat with me, I am going to mess with you at some point. Cool, check out the pirate ship. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I knew it was going to release that guy. Got one. Oh, yeah. 
that's the end of the day of potential right here. Dude, it's a big one. I'm serious. I, I've helped the head shape. Come on. Can you fit him in that little net? No. Once we got a fish in the boat, yeah. we were able to put a buoy down. That gave us a reference point, and we were able to stay in that area and just continually pick off fish after fish. Shad shaped worm, baby. You cannot, cannot beat it. You can't beat it. No matter what you do, you're not going to beat it. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. Put on what works. Catch it. That was my last Good one. Oh. They do that big head shake. Quick, quick. Dude, this is so big it could be a dag on start. Who's your daddy? No way. <laughs> Is there anything more fun than that? Oh crap, remind me to call my wife back. This is it. Your hometown and ours. The places you depend on. People you trust. Family, friends, neighbors. Our hopes and our dreams. Home. This is the story we write every day, yours and ours, and it will be what we want it to be. We are here to empower people just like you, because when it's your hometown, it matters more. Marquette Savings Bank, the hometown bank. Get these guys. Can we ask you a few questions? Oh, he's got one. In the morning, straight along that weed line right there. Mm -hmm. John, I'm Dave. Nice to meet you. What do you fish for mostly? Steelhead, brown trout, walleye, vervet, all kinds of fish. That's what they so they call them seven stripers. You can count them. I got seven. Yes, we caught that stripe. I got seven. Steelhead, rainbow. Can you name two things that the Erie area is famous for? Uh, Smith hot dogs. Drinking pepperoni bread. A lot of people claim there ain't no fish in the bay ice fishing. What do you catch up? That's where you go. You gotta look for them. So what's going on here, man? What's, what's just happening? It's weird to see somebody out here in January. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Fishing in the area is great. Lots of streams, lots of fresh fish. Another average catch of perch. I'm allergic to fish. <laughs> oh, I no. can't eat them. There you have it. I've got somebody that's allergic to fish. I don't know if I could live. That's just showing, uh, that was the middle of December. Do you have any idea who I'm Oh, gosh, no. Like this. My grandson's first wife. Tick, 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 tick. Tickety, tickety, tick, tick, tick. <laughs> What's going on? What are you here for? I had to come up to shoot Berber. Why? Because Gary is the best fishery in the world. Berber, yeah, Berber's the, Gary's the only place I know they <laughs> catch Berber. You couldn't even see one until today. First time I ever saw it. Is that right? Yeah. It's the first time I've shot one in, in years. And I happened to be here when somebody had some. Cool. Yep. Thanks, brother. You guys have a good day. Yeah, take fish. <laughs> I think that's about all the fish pictures that are in here. Your website is often the first impression a customer has of your business. So even though your operation runs like this, this is what they really see. What you need is an exceptional web presence that gets results. Allow the fun and creative team of We Create and Erie PA to brainstorm innovative ways to grow your business online and offline. Take it from our clients who are now getting the results they deserve. Visit WeCreate.com today to find out how you can transform your website from this to this. Check out the Erie Extreme YouTube channel where you can get a more in-depth look, view raw uncut episodes, fun segments, a loud obnoxious parrot, and more. When you subscribe, you will be eligible to win extreme prizes 
plus the chance to win a trip to fish with Dave on world famous Lake Erie. And remember, like our good friend Bob the Parrot always says, save a worm for a bird. Why do I say that again? Baby, baby, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, you know it's good when you're calling four and a half pounders babies, right? Yeah, buddy. Look at that one. Birdie. Boy, they're light colored. But I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I can't get the hook out. My fingers are so cold. I don't know what to do with my hands. I don't know what to do with my hands. I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah. Oh, it's a big one. Come on. He's got a neat. I want to. Oh, oh my gosh. He's got one of those black dots on it. Smack that. Look at the black dots on it. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes, man. This is cool. Normally, I'm drilling holes right now, fishing on the ice. Out here in the boat, catching big smallmouth. Look at that one. And that's cool. He's got like a couple of deals going on here. He's got the the eel mark right there that's actually from a lamprey and then a lot of our fish around here a lot of the bass they have these little pigments on them and that's not unhealthy you know I've talked to some biologists about it it's a doesn't do anything to the fish it's just a cool look some of them are covered with it but cool fish good net job yes sir there he goes back into the lake another one oh my gosh Don't you get in here, get in here, you fat cow. <laughs> Got one. It feels like a dinosaur. Just that answer me. Oh my gosh, it's a giant. Dude, don't miss it. Don't miss them. Reach way out. Reach way out. Look at that one. Yeah, it's a big one right there, boy. <laughs> Look at that. Awesome, brother. That was not too bad of a net job. You know what fishermen do? We hide our baits. Even on TV shows, we hide our baits. <laughs> we don't want people to know what we're catching. Oh, that's awesome. Back in the lake, baby. I knew you could catch one. If you just listen, is that a steelhead? Oh, that's a tank. Isn't it? I think that's a tank too. Oh, did he get off? No. Was that Laker? just pick up a GoPro here and there. The, the cameraman might even throw out a line here and there and catch one, but uh, they're allowed to interact on this show. Yo, want me to grab them? Yeah, dude. I'll get them. Please. Bring them over here. Ooh, here. Come, come, come on. Got him. It was, it was just a great time out there. You know, we, um, we just smashed them. I mean, we caught so many fish and we left them biting. I mean, we saw everything thrown at us today from wind to no wind, sun, clouds. So once I felt that first little wind gust, you know, I decided it's time to hightail it, head back to the truck and live to fish another day. Once you get on some fish, especially this time of year, whenever the water's cold, those fish tend to group up. You know, when you're cold, you want to snuggle with your honey. When the fish are cold, they want to snuggle with their buddies. <laughs> Dave, you better call Ann back. Hi, I'm Brenda. I'm the food service manager here at Store 32. Welcome to Country Fair. Country Fair, food, gas, drinks. <laughs> Dave stopped 
pops in here all the time on his way to the lake. <laughs> we are live at the 8th of April on Country Fair with Rocket 101. We are everywhere. What's a TV show without a cute dog? Oh, this is Ken, by the way. He's a cameraman. What are you doing back here? Here I come with a stool. Look at this stool. I use Australian goose feathers. Um, they fly them in. Sometimes I'll tip it with a night crawler that we get sent in from the West Coast. Isabelle likes to fish, don't you? Don't you just love it? Night crawlers are pretty much my go-to. You know, when they're not biting off all those night crawlers up on there, it's pretty much good. Enough at that yeah. point. We pretty we pretty much hit each other pretty hard out there. Pretty pretty how many pretty how many times pretty can I say pretty in one sentence? <laughs> yeah. Gosh. It's working, man. Are you kidding me right now? It's actually working. It's working. Look at it. It's on. The light is on. How? How is that even possible? What is going on? Attention all viewers! Do you have an extreme catch worthy of my bragging more? I'm Bob the Parent. Submit your favorite fish photo for a chance to get posted on my bragging board. Ah! You can also win some awesome prizes. Subscribe to the Erie Extreme YouTube channel for even more chances to win. And remember what I always say, save a worm for a bird. Why do I say that again? Ow! Ow! All right, I'm being a baby. See you okay where he's at? You can't see me, right? <laughs> nope, it's like you're not even there. Hi, I'm John Arway, Executive Director of the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. First, if you're already a Pennsylvania angler or boater, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for your purchase of your fishing license or boat registration. Since the sale of our first fishing license in 1919, the Commission has used the funding provided by the sales of licenses to support our stewardship of the Commonwealth's fish, reptiles, and amphibians. Come on and join in the fun of fishing and boating in Pennsylvania. Get gas here, walk straight across the street, Zodiac Diner. Don't get run over. It's a ritual. I'm Mike, I'm the owner of the Zodiac. <laughs> They give you a lot of food. Yeah. I don't know how he stays in business. Why do you eat at the Zodiac Diner? They're can't be good. You can't beat it. Next week on Erie Extreme. Brownies and Bessies Ready? are bust. <laughs> My legs are broken. I had so much fun the last time I fly fished. I'm doing it again. Do you guys mend? You guys probably worked all okay, week. Okay, so I'm hung in a tree. I'm hung in a bush. I broke off another bait. Ooh. Ooh. Copa pods in there. Copa what? Check out the icicles. Bessie swims right through this and probably up there. What do you guys drag us into? <laughs> Brown trout, look. <laughs> oh, are you freaking kidding me?